All right, so this is going to be a video explaining paradigms. This is pronounced pair a dime. Basically, this is what you're going to want to ask your judge for in the beginning of a round. This would be before you've started reading your case and before your opponent has started reading theirs. For instance, when you're sitting at your separate tables and you're getting your cases uploaded and ready and your judge is getting their papers sorted out and ready, you can ask, judge, may I ask your paradigm? This is a very good habit to learn as a novice because I you're definitely going to need to use it once you become a varsity. As a novice, this also makes you look more professional and makes you like have a good impression with the judge. So now, what is a paradigm? Paradigms are how the judge is going to be judging this round. For instance, on a more simple novice level, it might be something as easy as knowing your case, which basically just means that you know what you're talking about, you know where your cards are, and things like that. Once you get to a more expert level-ish, they will start saying things like, oh, I want a lot of like clash, but you don't have to worry about that yet. So anyways, some of the more common paradigms you're going to get are things like, we're not gonna use that marker, <laughs> are things like speed. Speed is extremely important as a novice. As a novice, unfortunately, you guys don't have the best enunciation sometimes, so this can be what gives you a round or loses you a round. And if a judge says that they want you to speak slowly to them and you speak fast, you will lose the round. So remember, if a judge says, oh, yes, please be slow so I can follow and take notes, try your best to monitor your speaking. Whereas instead of speaking like this, where you're speaking really fast and no one can understand you, try just slowing it down a little bit so that, that way they can get every single word. Another common paradigm that I see is also just evidence. Proof is another way that this is said. So when a judge asks you or says that they're going to have an evidence paradigm, it means that if you make a claim, you have to have evidence with a cut card to back it up. For instance, Let's say you're debating vanilla versus chocolate ice cream, and you say vanilla ice cream is the best. Okay, so that's a claim, but without any evidence, it has no purpose in the round. So if your evidence was, uh, in this universe, we're gonna say vanilla ice cream cures cancer. If your evidence for why vanilla ice cream is the best is it because it cures cancer, that immediately makes your argument more preferable. So remember, so far we have speed, Keep it slow, don't you know? regurgitate your words at judges, and evidence. Always make sure that if you make a statement or a claim, you have a professional opinion that backs it. And one of the last ones, this is kind of just more of a term, but we call them mom judges. Now, here's the thing. If you're in debate, you probably know what's going on in politics, and if you don't, that's fine, you're going to. Mom judges are judges that have been hired to judge very probably last minute or that haven't had to do a judge training course. For instance, a mom judge may not know what communism is and that's perfectly okay. You just have to know that. So a typical thing you'll hear from a mom judge and know how to adjust yourself is judge may ask your paradigm oh I'm not really super familiar with the topic. I don't really know 100% what it's about. So just, you know, go slow for me. That would be a perfect example of a mom judge. Mom judges are only different because that way you need to make sure that you're speaking clearly and slowly, that you have evidence, and then that you have your written out impact under it. So that way it almost sums up the evidence and make sure that your point is getting across to them. Another thing is during your speeches, you want to keep them simple. Don't try to go for something super advanced and like intricate. State the facts of why your case is better than your opponent's and why it overall covers the topic better. That's what you should do for mom judges. A good way to tell the difference between a mom judge and a more educated judge is literally asking their paradigms. So I cannot stress how important it is that you guys ask for paradigms. Please, I'm making a template and I'm putting a literal thing at the top of it that says before the round starts ask your judge what their paradigm is so please don't skip out on it i promise you it will be worth it and it'll majorly help you 
in the long run. So you can go over this video again, or you can just turn the video off and didn't listen to a thing I was saying. However you choose to use this, good for you.